So, Hypixel is stealing mods. In a new post, Hypixel has said that QOL mods are being banned and then gave almost no details over what is and isn't allowed. And when they do that, we have to assume it means everything. The post gives mods basically messing with server packets and watchdog as the reason they are being banned. But the post does not clarify whether or not this means all Skyblock mods are going to be banned, or just the features that mess with the packets. But even then, blocking features related to packets is going to disable a lot of QOL things that Hypixel could never implement, because it's a Minecraft server with Minecraft limitations. The best case scenario is that this mod is going to stop you from being able to lock slots, remove the ability to stop accidentally breaking pumpkin or melon stems, stop fancy GUI menus for the auction house or warp menu, stop you from being able to disable item abilities like the livid dagger, blocking item frame clicks, showing invisible enemies like fells and ghosts, and any other feature that have you directly interact with the server. And worst case, well, worst case, we won't be able to use any Skyblock mods at all. Alright, so whilst we were editing this video, a little bit of clarification came out, saying that a lot of things are still allowed, namely stopping you from dropping rare items. Although this is still cancelling packets from being sent, and I do not see why this is any different to other inventory GUI elements, or how the server is going to tell the difference. This post also says we basically have to wait and see until we start getting warned about what is or isn't allowed, which is stupid. Why not just enable the warnings now? None of these changes, of course, target the main advantages mods give players. Dungeon solvers and enchanting solvers are basically impossible to detect, and even if they are blacklisted, it's not going to stop players from just using them without telling anyone. And the fact that the packet changing features are activating Watchdog is such a terrible reason for banning it. Why is Skyblock even using Watchdog when Skyblock's own features alter vanilla movement and have led to false bans in the past? Why doesn't Skyblock use its own anti-cheat that specifically targets AFKers, macro wars, and other problematic people, instead of getting annoyed because of a pumpkin stem that isn't breaking when it's supposed to? These mods are specifically targeting issues that Skyblock has and cannot fix, because of the limitations of it being a Minecraft server. And the admins should be working with mods instead of against them, especially when fixes for things like dropping items accidentally or losing coins do not work in laggy situations, like Astro being extremely unreliable and the double tap to drop feature also not working during lag spikes. These are features that can only be fixed client side, not server side. The biggest thing that this would fix, however, is completely patching a certain hat client that I will not name, that basically lets you AFK dungeons. But then again, Stablock isn't a competitive game, or they wouldn't be allowed to monetize it with booster cookies in a compliance with Minecraft's EULA. So what does it matter that a few people are cheating if it means a much better experience for tens of thousands of players using basic QOL mods? By the way, I'm not saying that it's fine if those hackers were gaining an advantage over everyone. In fact, I want those people gone as much as everyone else does. And even then, there are literally so many moderators on Hypixel. If Watchdog is detecting a lot of packet manipulation from an individual, then why not alert a moderator to the individual to check on them, instead of blanket banning everyone who's basically being totally harmless. None of this makes much sense. If you've never used Skyblock mods, then you probably don't understand how bad this is for a lot of people. But it's a bad thing for a lot of us, and we only really ask for a few things. We want clarity and to know exactly what is or isn't allowed. We want to know why other solutions have not been explored. And we want, if possible, for this decision to be ultimately reversed. That's just my opinion anyway. You have two weeks until you start getting warned and kicked for disallowed mods, and then two weeks after that, you're going to start getting banned. Share this video around and make sure people know what's happening, and hopefully we're going to get some answers, and maybe even some solutions if we're lucky.